Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 56 of my Rapid Chess series on chess.com. Finally, I fixed my hair a little bit. It's not as wonky as bad as before. And it's very tough after yesterday. Yesterday was just preposterous, you know what I mean? Two matches with 60% accuracy. In the future, I might play two games per day sometimes. So... Yesterday was the first time that we actually played two games in one day because losing in 12 moves and even before that it was move 9 or something I just blundered my queen and it's just that's 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 not enough you know um might as well not post at all if that's the only thing that I'm posting so but with two loses we get a bit more content and things to learn from it's not gonna be easy. Thirteen thirty. Let's let's uh, search for an opponent, and we shall find out. Not sure. Not sure. Today, I need to be extra cautious after yesterday. My opponent is fourteen twenty nine from I think Mexico. Uh, we get the white pieces, which should be in our advantage but he gives up so we get uh, another one which is more more our level and probably he's from vietnam Kong, hong kong yep vietnam with the star <laughs> third one that looks like croatia but i'm not sure it is Ivan fourteen fifty two very high rated from Croatia. So let's go. We can go for a standard London. Let's delay that just a little bit. Want to see what my opponent is doing? Okay, so he's gonna fianchetto castle and whatnot. So let's prepare an an e4 push. Yeah, I think I should prepare an e e4 e5 push. Right. Okay, it's not possible now. Yeah, if it was pinned. Okay, that's not a problem though. We're gonna develop as usual then. Yeah, we can go out with the bishop for now. His bishop is sleepy. His queen cannot get out easily. Um, so far, so good. It looks, it looks sound for us. He only has one minor piece developed. Bunch of pawn moves. <laughs> Maybe now we can push. Takes, takes, takes. Push. Push, takes, 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 takes. I can. Uh, so I just finished the Pyramid of Pawns. We can push e4 at any point. I think that's good to keep in mind. Is he castling long? <clears throat> Should we break the ice? We can push c4 and e4. Even though I'm not castled. 
I have more development than him than he does. So Queen B3, E4, castles, and C4. These are my candidate moves. Push takes, 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 takes. We don't really get anywhere, and a bunch of trades will favor him. Here takes, takes. I think that's much better. He can hop in with the knight. But so far, I think I'm pretty safe. Castling is, is alright. I think c4. I think c4. But then I allow this kind of... Let me just castle first. Okay, that's logical. I can put my knight here, give up the bishop pair, and I should be really good. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Because there's no good square for the... If I drop back, it's just gonna take. Let's centralize the knight. And reinforce the knight if he chooses to capture my bishop. <coughs> Could have played h3, but I'm not too mad about my setup for now. What's next? Rook here would be nice. Well, he can just take, which is really annoying, so maybe, maybe bring the other, but he can, he can actually harass me with f6. I think takes, takes is fine, but he will castle soon. He'll castle short, probably. So the knight here is not really that great because he can push. Then I can come here. Okay, you know what? Let's do it. Okay, but here, here. And then, yeah, I guess I can get out somehow. Maybe get out. Who cares? You can take, take. Take, take. And I'm okay with that. He centralizes the queen. Lining the rook with the queen is never a bad idea. Wow, he long castled. Well, I think it's now or never, you know. Push, takes. That's gonna open up things for him though, but yeah, pressing here is not really ideal. Rook A to C1. Is that a thing? Is that even a thing? Can't go here because I'm gonna get skewered.
maybe pushing here for now. I do want to push here for now. Maybe bring my queen and try to push the pawns, something like that. I can still bring my queen. <laughs> he does have the bishop pair. It's quite scary, I'm not gonna lie. And he's gonna push pawns at any point. Not right now, because he's gonna blunder the fork. He's playing defense, which is phenomenal for now. I can push takes check here i can even take 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 and it's not going to look good I think push takes check here. Sack the rook takes back with the bishop and takes with the queen is not bad. <clears throat> and I'm actually gonna go for it because it's crazy, but it has to work. I can do some more preparation though. But it has to work. And I can just not sacrifice the rook if I so choose at that time. I can just drop back. So there's not a problem. But he cannot block the check if he decides to capture my pawn so he has to move and i think that's smart i can take once and open the rook that looks really good for me um obviously i can take it's gonna take with i'm gonna attack again but he can just take <laughs> but then i take back and we should be all right so take He's going to take with the queen, obviously, so let's say take, take, attack, take, capture back. And it's still the same problem. I think I like that. Like that. Takes, takes back with the queen, attack the queen, take with the bishop, take with the pawn. and. Again, if he takes, I'm gonna tickle him with a check first and go from there. But now he cannot even take at all because uh, when I take with the rook, back, anything. So, okay, that's an interesting move. Um, but now I can just take. If you take with the pawn, I take the knight. If you take with the knight, yeah, if he takes with the knight, that's not really favorable. But I guess I can take that pawn with the rook and infiltrate and threaten to take. So take, take, pay. 
What can he do afterwards? Take, take, take. He can't go there, can't go there, can't go there, can't go there, can't go there. And it should be winning. If he doesn't do anything, um, I'm still going in with the rook. He can take that pawn. Do I really care about it? Not really. I mean, he has bigger problems. Then this pawn. I think we're doing all right. I don't want to speak too soon. Okay, we can actually have two connected past pawns. I can straight up grab this pawn, which is savage. If I grab this pawn, what am I threatening? I'm not threatening anything, and he's just gonna run. So I'm gonna keep this in my back pocket. So, like pushing is useless. If I take with the rook, I'm attacking his knight. Here, here doesn't work and yeah so here um i think i'm gonna keep it simple for now take the pawn have a uh, two past pawns connected on the on the edge of the board gonna keep it simple for now I do allow him some play, maybe. Maybe I could have played this better. <laughs> if he runs away, I can push the pawn. Or I can push the C pawn. If I push the C pawn, okay, what, what, what is that? What is that? Not entirely sure. But I think now it's more safe to to just grab this free pawn for no reason. I don't see an immediate threat to that. Takes here. I can all back like anywhere. I think I'm gonna do that for now. Still take this pawn. Um, maybe take, take, take is not too crazy. Obviously he cannot take me because he's pinned. The rook um, stops any shenanigans with the bishop on this diagonal or something like that, but the knight is already protecting that, so... But... Okay, he resigns. Mm -hmm. I just meant to say, pushing these pawns feels dangerous, and it's good to be back now in my regular, good, focused mental state after yesterday. Barely I could sleep that, sleep that night. That's how bad it was. It was... It was Disastrous. I was thinking, how did I even play that bad? I maybe not play in the morning. Um, came up with all these scenarios and whatnot, but I looked over the England gambit and I don't think I'm gonna accept it again. Well, we'll see, because even when you get the advantage, I don't like the position, so. Let's do an analysis. After yesterday, I was hoping for 
at least 80, but realistically I wanted a 90% match plus to, to feel better about yesterday. I'm not even gonna lie, so let's find out. Let's do a game review. Are we in the in the 90s? Yes, redemption. It feels good, man. Some some redemption. It feels good, man. And the new rating is 1341. We open with Queen Pawn's opening. We don't want to go into an accelerated London right away, so kept that for my third move. Actually, he plays best move. Excellent, 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 best move. Castles, yeah, yeah, h3 would have been, h3 would have been alright to stop <laughs> him from harassing my bishop and be able to just drop back to h2. But at this point I already have one plus one advantage. I feel like his opening was not that great. Because the light squared bishop is uh, is um, is sleepy, you know what I mean. Because of this pawn, so I castle instead. He does find the best move, and computer likes this, I guess, to provoke. Oh, okay, I see. Um, but then you can just take and take and yeah I uh, I don't know I don't know this position not too bad but what I did instead he takes I take Meh, it's still not too bad and this pawn that I just captured with is reinforcing my knight so I felt like it, it was pretty smart <clears throat> and I quite like my position still, uh, regardless what the computer says. But here, a4. Who in their right mind would play a4 in this position? You tell me. And he drops the advantage from 0.5 to, to 0.1. So that has to be has to be wrong, but anyways, he develops the queen, makes a battery somehow pointing towards nothing, but keeping the option open to castle short or wrong, so I feel like I was pretty smart. Lining up the rook with the queen, always a good move. Castles long in accuracy, and b4, b4, let's go, best move, striking right away. And b5 is a mistake. Bishop takes e5. Let's see. Bishop takes e5 would have been more accurate. I was very certain he was gonna take like this. Apparently, it's a bad move. But taking. I would have taken. Yeah, I would have taken with the f pawn. Undoubled my pawns. And my position, I think, looks pretty good. So, this is a mistake. He should have traded the knight, at least, or something. But, queen b3 apparently is an inaccuracy, and computer already likes a4. Oh, that's so smart, because it takes, takes, and takes something like that. And it's already plus 17. So in this position, keep that in mind, guys. Playing a4 is a good move, because you have, you know, the red carpet towards the king, basically. But I do play queen... Yeah, queen b3, which is not the most accurate, but he also plays an inaccuracy. And now I go for it, a4. He correctly doesn't take back. Best move is bishop takes e5 again. 
to alleviate some tension here, as you can see, it's too much pressure. <clears throat> and here, maybe this was a premature, but A takes B5. A takes B5 is best move. But I was thinking to do that. So why not eliminate a defender before doing that? That's what I thought. I thought that was pretty smart because he was going to take with something. Anyways, maybe with a queen. I would have attacked his queen, but I guess there's more tactics. Yeah, I would have find a, found a, a move anyway, but takes takes taking with the queen king is actually the best move because things are going to open up here and he's going to be in danger so his best bet is indeed to run <clears throat> but now i do play the best move a takes b5 finally and he plays an excellent move and knight takes b5 is the best move um which is absolutely crazy. Okay. That's just crazy. Um and taking back is not even uh, it's not even Wow, that's crazy. Actually, yeah, he can just take back. And taking the knight is not even the best move. Because you want this open and you want to have access to light squares. But I would have probably pinned him and attacked this and yeah, what a... in this position in this position you have uh, C four Rook takes A six but move if Albar is not happy with this move, it's a mistake. So, oh no, actually, I said, what am I talking about? I'm going crazy again, guys. Sorry about that. I, I, I said that I'm going to take the pawn, um, remove a defender, and uh, then just um, <coughs> take the knight with the check or something like that. Anyways, but that was not played during the match so after king captures here best move is indeed to take the pawn with the knight which drops this pawn i guess he plays an excellent move instead i already noticed <laughs> this trick but then he has discoveries Um, so it didn't really make too much sense, but I just kept that in my back pocket, like just a pawn is a pawn, you know what I mean? And I correctly took, which is the best move, because this pawn was doomed, it's attacked one, two, three times, only defended once, it's a double pawn, it's awful, alternative was to take with the rook. But I didn't see the continuation. Sure, I attack his knight, but he can just capture, and the knight is protected. No big deal. So I correctly took playing the best move. And after the rook moves out of the the, the B file, I just play the best move again because now there's no discoveries. Before if I would have played, maybe he had this move, like this cover is not that nice. Um, yeah, whatever, I can. I don't know, I said I would have gone here, but now this pawn is under attack, so maybe I would just go back and. Anyways. But this last move. Best move was so stunning that my opponent resigned. I think it was a very solid game. I'm very happy with my performance. 
And what have I learned today? The most important thing is probably this, right? He long castles. <laughs> All his pieces are concentrated in the middle of his base, basically. So playing b4 is the best move. And if he replies with b5, playing a4 immediately is the best move. So I'll try to remember this. And for you as well, if you're beginners or amateurs just like me, um, try to imprint this into your mind. If you have a visual memory, um, so in this in this case, uh, don't forget to play a4 immediately, instantaneously. Pre-move it. Okay, maybe not, but you know what I mean. And if he takes, what would be the best continuation? Um, Okay, so if he takes, how do I see? How do I see the lines again? Um, and I played like a 2150, by the way, which I'm not too sure. My opponent, like 1550. Zero mistakes, zero misses, zero blunders. That's just phenomenal. Um, Um, is this the line that I played before? Like, hmm, I need to press an analyze or something. Let's see if I can, if I can do guys. This is really important to me. Really important for me. Um, Okay, I think it's back. I think it's back now. <clears throat> Alright, this is a massive blunder, obviously. Let's see why. So, computer's preferred choice is for queen takes. For some reason. And why is that? I'm not sure. Rooks there, check, run, run, block, run, block. And you hit him with a fork in the end. So this, which is pretty forced. Oh, it didn't, it didn't save. Yeah, this, this could be a continuation. Which is pretty forced. You end up with a <laughs> with a royal fork. If not, you have mate sooner than that. If he does, if he doesn't give up his pieces for free just to block the check, I guess. I mean, yeah, it's the same thing. Anyways, if he blocks, it's it literally is the same thing. So. But even taking with the bishop, and even taking with the rook is winning. So let's see. You take with the bishop. This could be a continuation. Oh my god. This, this is broken. What's happening? I think this is right. 
But now bishop takes, it says it's the best move. So that's forced. Check, that's forced. Okay, that's smart. So he has to give up the queen anyway. Um, you don't even take the queen, that's savage. That's absolutely savage. And let's see uh, how it could continue. He has to give up the, the, the queen anyway, and it's forced mate. Anyway, so good thing to remember. In this position, guys, remember. Remember to play a4. And it doesn't matter how you continue. Basically, you're winning. B4, A4. Actually, you play B4 and you pray for your opponent to play uh, uh, B5. And then you play A4 and it's completely, complete destruction. Good game to my opponent. He actually played like a 15-50. So that's above his level, you know what I mean? But I had a fantastic game. We are back in business. The opening wasn't even the best. But the middle game was fabulous. And he did have a great move. Um, very happy with the accuracy for now. I need to work on my consistency if I can play this good all the time. That's going to be phenomenal. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you want to check uh, my playlist for more content. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao.